Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well as usual. So it's time to do one of my Christmas beers. So I did a recent Christmas beer unboxing and it's time to crack on and do one of the Christmassy labelled beers. And this one's from uh, Ridgeway. Ridgeway Brewing. They're based out in Oxfordshire. And this is the Bad Elf. Bad Elf. Winter's Ale. Coming in at 4.5% ABV. There it is with the grumpy looking bad elf on there. Uh, I know nothing about Ridgeway Brewing. I'd never even heard of Ridgeway Brewing until I picked this up. Uh, but I get the feeling these are being sent to America because it's it's got a lot of stuff on here to do with America. It's got the American government warning on it from the Surgeon General. And on the other side, it's got imported by Shelton Brothers out of can't even read that. Belch Town, Massachusetts, maybe. Um, so yeah, a bit strange. So it looks like these are, are going over to America. But anyway, let's crack on with it. So it says it's a winter's ale. I know nothing about the ale itself. It doesn't say anything really about the beer. It just says one of our range of very special Christmas beers brewed in England. And that's about it really. So no idea what this is going to taste like, look like. So let's just crack on. It's almost a blind test, isn't it? Bottle cap, just plain green. Let's get this one out. Get in the glass, see how she looks, how she sniffs, how she tastes. That's a bit lively. That's a bit lively. Look at that. Having a little chat, that one. Uh, it's gonna go in this Watney's red barrel glass. I picked this up in a uh, antique shop, a pair of them, for a tenner for the pair, and it's stamped 1968. So that'd be about right for what is red barrel beers. They were in the late 60s and into the 70s. So yeah, quite a nice looking glass. Anyway, let's pour this, see what it looks like. I was actually expecting it to be a bit of a darker ale, but it's not. Looks like a golden ale, doesn't it? Yeah, we've been saying it was a winter's ale, and because it's in a, a brown bottle, you couldn't really work out what colour it was. But I was expecting it to be a bit a bit darker, but it isn't. That is very much a very carbonated, with a lot of floaters in there, which is fine. Got no issues with that. I think it does say on there that they're bottle conditioned. Um, so it's got a bit of a fog to it, a bit of a haze, but certainly a lot of floaters and certainly a lot of carbonation going on, but very golden in colour. Not overly festive looking, is it? Golden in colour. Let's have a sniff. Not a lot going on with that. Just smells a bit like a golden ale. It's got a bit of a metallic-y aroma to it. Nothing super amazing. Almost a bit lager smelling as well. Cheap lager smelling. Yeah. Um, doesn't look festive, doesn't smell festive. Let's see if it tastes festive. Cheers. <laughs> oh. There's absolutely zero festivities in that. Oh, that's not a festive beer. It's very malty, and quite a malt profile to it. Have we got any ingredients that might suggest there's anything? Hops, la la la, yeast, la la la. Yeah, not a lot going on. Doesn't really tell you much whatsoever there's nothing festive about that that is not a festive beer that is not a winter's ale it's a cheap golden ale is what that is really it just feels like a cheap golden ale something that you'd pick up out of Aldi or Lidl that is it's not great flavor wise it's really difficult but it's got quite a nasty finish to it quite metallic finish to it very malty festive my ass
it's just malt it's just very malty and metallic and very well carbonated it's kind of drying your mouth out a little bit which i don't mind but it's not a winter beer is it that's just not a winter's ale it doesn't taste like a winter's ale winter's ale should have a bit of you know spice to it and flavorings to it winter flavors and it's got none of that that's crap to be quite honest that really is i can't remember how much it cost i don't think it was particularly expensive but that's you can have that any time of the year you could put any label you like on that so easter you could call it the golden golden egg beer because it's a golden ale isn't it there's nothing festive it's shit to be quite honest um yeah really not impressed with that no winter flavors nothing whatsoever that would say this is a winter beer you could rebadge that with anything you like in, in of all the seasons and say it fits those seasons but it doesn't fit winter uh, it's not very good uh, i'm not going to talk any more about it will i finish it yeah of course i will it's not not undrinkable but it's just not a winter's beer that's disappointing i'm all done i'll see you on the next one take care cheers bye now